So I would like to um, review um, resonance structures and determining formal charge with you. And I'm going to draw this structure right here for this molecule, uh, NFO2. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to do is um, F is, or I'm sorry, N is going to be the central. And so this is a, a possible structure where we have a double bond on that top oxygen there and a single bond on the bottom oxygen and a single bond on the fluorine. And you'll see everybody has an octet here, so this is going to be one of the possible structures. Um, here's another one. And this one's simply going to move the double bond down to the bottom oxygen. And then we'll keep the single bond on the fluorine. Okay. And then our last structure will be with the double bond between the nitrogen and the fluorine. Okay, so you can see that everybody has uh, an octet here. We'll give the oxygens both single bonds. And you really should review uh, drawing those structures uh, on your own by how we draw Lewis structures by figuring out um, the total number of electrons. I didn't take the time to do that. So what I would like to do now is to assign um, formal charge to every, uh, every one of these atoms. So if you'll remember, the way we've signed formal charge is the valence electrons minus the unshared valence electrons minus half the shared electrons. So um, you might remember I said valence electrons minus dots minus dashes. So if we take a look at this first structure here on fluorine, fluorine has seven valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons and N has five. So that gives us uh, seven minus one, two, three, four, five, six minus one. So the formal charge on fluorine is going to be zero. Okay, on nitrogen, it's going to be five minus one, two, three, four. So that is going to be plus one on the nitrogen. On this oxygen here, it's going to be six minus one, two, three, four, five, six. So its formal charge is zero. And on this oxygen, again, six valence electrons minus six minus one. So it's going to be minus one for its formal charge. If we look at the second structure, um, fluorine is the same as in the previous one, so is nitrogen. Uh, and the only thing that's different is the oxygens have flipped, so we assign formal charge that way. Okay, and if you go over to this final structure, you can see I made a little mistake. Let's get rid of two of these electrons. That way, um, fluorine has the correct number. I'm sure you already saw that. All right, so fluorine now, fluorine has seven valence electrons, minus one, two, three, four. So that's three minus two uh, of the bonds there. So that gives us, for fluorine, a formal charge of plus one. 
Nitrogen is the same in all of these. As you can see, it has the same, it has four bonds. So it's going to be plus one, just the same. And then oxygen, uh, again, six valence electrons, minus six electrons, minus one. So this is going to be minus one on top and bottom. Okay, so there's a couple of rules we want to review. Um, so let's take a look at those. First, smaller charges, uh, formal charges are better than larger ones. Like charges on a, adjacent atoms are not desirable. So um, if we look at, at this structure right over here, we see negative one on adjacent atoms and plus one on adjacent atoms. Um, here we don't see any like formal charge on atoms that are next to each other. So that is uh, going to be a negative for this third structure. And also the more negative formal charge should be assigned to the more electronegative atom. So what is the most electronegative atom here? Well, it's going to be fluorine. Okay, we use the periodic table to tell, and you will see the more negative formal charge. Well, here, fluorine is plus one, and here, fluorine is zero in both of these. So this is, um, this third breaks two rules. It's got adjacent, uh, same charge on adjacent atoms, and the most electronegative atom is not the most negative, whereas over here, zero is at least more negative than plus one. Um, these two are equivalent. So they would be um, equal. Um, they're equivalent resonance structures. So they would be equal in importance. 